Why not? Shh. There's someone at the door. Is he holding a knife and wearing a ski mask? Nope. But he could be dangerous. Yeah, or he could be the mailman. <gasps> Mom said not to answer the door when she's not home. Yeah, when you were eight, but you're a big girl now, Katie. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, but why risk it? Katie, I will not be afraid to answer the door in my own home. I mean, what's the point of even having a doorbell if we're not going to answer the door? Yep. But what if it's a bad guy? Bad guys could be anywhere, Katie. The guy behind you at the grocery store, the guy in the car next to you at the stoplight. Heck, I could be a bad guy for all you know. But that doesn't mean you can go around living your life in fear. And besides, I'm right here. I'll protect you. So what do you think? Do you want to be brave and answer the door, or should I? I think maybe I'll just wait until they leave. For crying out loud, Katie, it's the middle of the day. There are cars driving by, people walking their dog. Our neighbor is outside shoveling snow off his driveway. What's the worst that could happen? I could die! Man, I can't talk to you. Wait, wait, wait! It sounds like they're leaving. Go check, but be discreet. I said be discreet! There's nobody there. We're sorry we missed you. We will attempt to deliver your package again on the next business day. Wait, what if it's a bad guy? Then I'll hang up. I kind of hit you with my knuckle, I'm sorry. <laughs> you hit the paper, you hit your fist. Oh, I'm just... I just totally missed you. Don't be afraid, it's okay. It's hard to do. I don't want to just punch you in the face. You have to do that, so it's okay. <laughs> Nailed it. Did I nail it? Was yeah. that good? That was good.